Open enrollment starts in November. Are you ready? Hi, I'm Rebecca Weinerton, a broker here at Cosmo Insurance Agency. What are the key dates and deadlines for open enrollment period? Open enrollment starts November 1st through December 31st for coverage starting January 1st and extends through January 31st for coverage beginning February 1st. Understanding healthcare open enrollment. Open enrollment is three months out of the year where all individuals can have access to shop plan options and purchase individual private plans. Benefits eligibility for different employees during open enrollment. Contract employees, otherwise known as 1099ers, are typically not eligible to enroll on plans through an employer, so this would be a great time for them to enroll on an individual plan. LLC owners who don't have any employees on payroll would also not be able to enroll through the business and therefore open enrollment is a great time for them to enroll on a plan. Part-time employees is anyone working under 25 hours a week who wouldn't be eligible to enroll through employer's coverage would be eligible to enroll in the private market during open enrollment. Anyone not eligible to enroll through an employer's health plan now would be the best time for you to enroll on a private plan without a qualifying life event. Tips for navigating healthcare open enrollment. As a broker, we help navigate through the dozens of options available on the market to help you select the plan that makes the most sense based on your family's medical needs and budget. We utilize online tools and resources when shopping for plans, both with the online calculator to confirm whether you're eligible for a subsidy in a discounted plan and helping you search both doctors and providers to see whether they are a network with options that we're quoting. Common mistakes to avoid during the health insurance open enrollment. First, missing deadlines. Be aware of when open enrollment begins and ends and try to avoid the last minute crunch time period so that you can make sure that the plan you're choosing for the following year makes the most sense for your medical needs. Second, not reviewing your current coverage. Many times your plan benefits, deductibles, premiums, and copays will change along with the drug formulary when switching from year to year, but your plan will automatically renew. It's important to go through the benefits of your plan to make sure that the plan that is rolling over still makes the most sense for you. 